<laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just having a little bit of raw milk before the uh, show starts. We're going to talk to somebody about raw milk. Why raw milk? Why should we drink raw milk? What is raw milk? We're going to find that in a find that out in a couple minutes you're watching Central valley talk and uh we're here to tell you what's good about fresno what's good about the valley uh things going on around fresno and the entire valley state the nation we're going to get some updates on the milk industry we're gonna, as always on monday nights we have wedding guests too uh, not wedding guests but people who are kind of connected to the wedding industry we have a guest coming in to maybe give some advice you're getting married uh you want to stay married well we're going to find out how maybe i don't know what we're going to talk about but we have two great guests Yes. Uh, go to our YouTube channel if you're watching. Uh, we just experimented uh, about a year ago putting a few videos, uh, interviews out on YouTube. And uh, people started watching the videos on YouTube more than they watch the live shows. You won't be the first person to go to our YouTube channel. Uh, 625,000 people have gone there. So go check that out. Just go to YouTube, type Central Valley Talk and... Um, uh, you can watch uh, videos on many, many, many subjects. Also, check out our Facebook channels. Uh, we're now uh, some of our interviews show up on Instagram and Twitter. But most of all, if you want to be on the show, go to our web channel, CentralValleyTalk.com, and there's a button you click that says "I'd like to be a guest," and it's free to be a guest on our show. Um, also, think about this: you could have your own talk show. Can you believe that? You can do that. Today's subject is very important to me. It's about uh, living in the valley, living in California, and uh, being healthy, kind of getting around the allergies people are getting. More and more people are getting those allergies. And uh, we've got our next guest, uh, McAfee. Mark McAfee. Mark McAfee. Uh, from Organic raw, Pastures Dairy. Organic Pastures Dairy. Yeah. You do raw milk. What in the heck we is do. raw milk? Well, that's organic raw milk. It means it's unprocessed in any way. It comes directly out of the cow. All we do is chill it, mm -hmm. make it real cold real quick, and we test it. We've mm -hmm. got some really good advanced uh, testing technologies that allow us to determine that, in fact, it's safe. There's no bad bugs. So you're getting the milk right out of the cow. There's no other process but no. getting it into the, the jug here. No, we have a, a very meticulous food safety program to make sure it's clean and yeah. the cows are healthy and all yeah. that stuff. But tested by the state, tested by us twice a day. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you mentioned something about asthma and allergies here in yeah. the valley. You know, we got 38, 40 million people living in right. California. 5.2 million people have asthma in wow. California. Oh my and God. there's all these European studies that show that those that drink raw milk, mm -hmm. their asthma goes away and it prevents it. Wow. Huge studies done in Europe. We have not done that investment in the United States, unfortunately. But the people that actually enjoy raw milk and drink raw milk get an incredible change of their gut micro mm -hmm. uh, microbia. Right. And also... There is the raw whey protein found in raw milk that stabilizes mast cells, and those are the cells that release histamines. I see. So it keeps your histamines in check. It's a powerful Aller food. Prevents allergies. Or yeah, allergies and that. asthma, yeah, and yeah. inflammation in general. Can you, now, here's what sold me on raw milk. Can you just in a minute or two tell people what their milk they're buying in the grocery store goes through from the cow to the bottle? Well, it comes from many different dairies. Our milk is from one dairy. One so dairy. many different dairies, working really hard trying to supply food to everybody. And unfortunately, they're overproducing, so the, price, the prices are really low, and dairies are having a hard time right now. But the milk's picked up by a big truck, taken to a central creamery, where it's pasteurized two or three or even four times. What does that mean? Heated it means up? means heated up to really high temperatures. Kill all the... It kills bacteria. It kills the good and the bad. It kills all the bacteria, yeah. or most all of it, and extends shelf life. Mm -hmm. Well, your gut's not a shelf. Right. And that's where we have a big problem right now, where... People are having a lot of allergies and lactose intolerance associated right. with pasteurized milk. It's also homogenized, standardized, and supplemented. So lots of things go right. on there. So they and kill so, everything that's good about the milk. Unfortunately, And yes. then they're putting extra stuff in that's not even milk. So now it's fortified or whatever, vitamin D or something like and that. And there's a battle in America right now. The dairymen are really struggling to survive because that processing is actually taking all the good stuff out yeah. of the milk that they actually had on the farm. Yeah, I think they're all milk tastes better, too. That's what our customers say. Yeah, really when they're do. pulled, they say three things. They say, it tastes really good doesn't cause allergies, and it's so easy to digest. Yeah. It makes me feel good. Those are the things they say. And now, you, real quick, I want to cover some of these things that uh, you say. There's a couple of columns here, mother's milk, uh, raw milk, and these are the other milks. And the raw milk and the mother's milk Remember, are very similar. Mother's milk is not processed in not any way. It's mom direct, right? Yeah. And, and mom direct has an incredible, it's got 2,500 different proteins, 700 different kinds of bacteria, yeah. enzymes. Everything's alive, just like God made it over a million yeah. years, right? Well, that's what raw milk is, too. So all the benefits you find from mother's milk, 
breastfeeding, right. could be found in raw milk, except for the antibodies mom makes for the baby. Right, right. Everything else is there. So it's the great next step after mom stops and weaning. But the idea that you somehow drinking raw milk, the histamines or whatever, asthma, allergies, there's so many more people are getting more and more allergies that maybe that first few years of life, especially is the time to be doing raw milk. Especially when you consider the fact that kids really get hammered by antibiotics mm -hmm. for ear infections. Big studies done in Europe show dramatic decrease in asthma, allergies, ear infections, and colds. That's all immune system stuff. So we need to really get off the, the antibiotic thing and only use it for when we really, really need it and get into prevention through nutrition. Right. Now your shirt and this logo we have here behind us says Farmers, farmers Over Pharmacies. Here yeah. we go. In my hat, too. <laughs> now what does that mean? Well, I was a paramedic for 16 years here in Fresno. And, and you know, I, I, at every call that we had for medical aid, you'd go into the house and the person's having some terrible problem happening. And they would have a big pile of FDA-approved medications next yeah. to their bed or next to them. And they're in the process of trying to die. And they never, ever had any good food in the house. Wow. Well, that was a previous chapter of my life. And I'm super proud now to be an organic dairyman that's doing raw milk, where we actually rebuild the immune system and perhaps only use some of those drugs when they need them. And they don't have to do them because they prevent the disease that they have because their gut's working, their immune system's working, and they don't get sick. That's a big part of the whole system. Is the 85% gut. of your immune system is the gut bacteria and the food you feed it. Hmm. Uh, we go on all day long on a thesis and that, but I'll tell you what, yeah. if your gut's well, your body's well. That's okay. When your gut's not well, you're not well. Yeah. And we do a lot of stuff to take the good bacteria out of our gut, right? <laughs> Antibiotics, preservatives yeah. in our foods, sterilized foods, all those things are really, really, uh, I mean, chemotherapy really, really reduces your gut bacteria. But everything we eat nowadays is sterilized for long shelf life. Like hmm. I mentioned before, your gut is not a shelf. Right. You know, taking everything, killing yeah. everything good out. Yeah. Now, people my age, uh, my friends, we used to sit around and talk about girls or whatever. Now we sit around <laughs> and talk about, well, what's your blood pressure, this and that. Yeah. And we're talking about, let's try to control this stuff, right. our, our, our diabetes, blood pressure, and stuff through what we eat instead of... Uh, There's more and more drugs. talk about inflammation in our bodies driving disease process. Mm. Raw milk, raw milk kefir especially, and other whole food nutrition you'd find at a farmer's market that's less processed or unprocessed, drive that immune system to work properly because it feeds good bacteria. Mm -hmm. And the bacteria have a place to live and they have food to feed it. It's the food that you feed the bacteria, the bacteria that actually drive the immune system and the inflammation process in our bodies. And we forgot that. Our great-grandparents would have told us that, but modern, we haven't got it figured out. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, I don't get what this is, raw kefir? Raw milk kefir. You take this and you put it in a, in a vat for 24 hours at body temperature, and you add some additional bacteria, mm -hmm. and it ferments. It becomes mm -hmm. like a yogurt. It's kind of thick, yeah, yeah. and it's a great base for a smoothie, but it's fantastic. The, all the people in the Balkans, the Caucasus, the Russians, loved this stuff mm -hmm. for hundreds and hundreds of years because it prevented disease and kept them healthy. Yeah. In fact, this product is so popular, so successful, the videos of moms on YouTube at our Farmers Over Pharmacies website mm -hmm were banned by YouTube. Somebody in pharmacy got, pharmaceuticals got ex excited about the fact that mothers were saying, my God, it really helped me a lot with their, their allergies, asthma, and their gut problems. And I tell you, it, it, that's how popular it is. We had to come up on Vimeo to, to bypass the YouTube guys. Yeah, and you're telling us that, that these videos you made, just testimonials, not even pitching your brand or no, anything. No brand and associated by, at all. Uh, my, Kids drinking raw milk, this and this and this yeah. happened. There's no bad words. There's no stealing other people's no music. No guns, no violence, no sex. And YouTube just came and said, you can't have these videos on. Yeah, it's pretty alarming. Somebody doesn't want the people to know this. Somebody so. doesn't want this to know it. And this is honest to goodness, backed up by science, hardcore science, PubMed, NIH reviewed science coming out of Europe, that this replaces drugs. Yeah. Pretty powerful. Wow. And it could. It might. And you're not saying it will, but nope. try I'm it. I'm saying right. try it. There's no side effects. Yeah. You look at uh, no side effects. No Lialda, you look at uh, Humira, uh, you know, a side effect, known side effect is cancer. Yeah. And decimating. So yeah. very expensive. These are the original Whole Foods. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, you may have to be on one of those drugs, but I'll tell you what, maybe not. Mm -hmm. And there's no side effects of trying a real whole food. Now, I went to my grocery store, and it had milk that sounded something like raw milk. It wasn't your brand. Or the more I read the label, it wasn't really <laughs> that. So yeah. where uh, this isn't at my store where I go. Uh, Lassen's, Sprouts. Oh, Sprouts uh, has Sprouts it. Sprouts has it. Wow. That's a, there's 110 stores in California. Yeah, that's a pretty it. popular store. Very st it's the top-selling organic milk, including the pasteurized brands. Mm -hmm. it, it outsells the pasteurized Okay. Uh, because it's raw, and people just absolutely love it. So you milk the cow, 
you make it cold fast and it stays cold. Right. Right, all the way to the shelf and yep. goes right in the dairy box. And, and we test it using some very advanced Bax PCR. We're starting to use a Cybus DX, which gives you on-farm testing data in 30 minutes, which is mm, going to come nice. out in April. So you know it's clean. and We and know everything. there's no problems and yeah. people will be okay. Now, uh, how long does it keep? 18 days. Oh, that's nice. If you keep it cold. If you keep it cold. You can go through this in 18 days <laughs> easily, right? Most people go through it in a couple days. A couple days, right, especially yeah. if you have some cookies or something with it. Oh, right. yeah, cookies and milk. Okay, organic pastures. Now, uh, I heard you could go out and visit the farm. We do tours all the time, mm -hmm. Mike. And I tell you what, it's coming up on tour season starting in, in March and April, May. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Fresno State coming out with a bunch of uh, students. We've got kids from around the state. We've got consumers. We've got everybody and their brother coming out. And they really enjoy it because we take them on tours. And where is it approximately? It's about 15 miles southwest of Fresno. Okay. Our website, organicpastures.com. Uh, you can visit and you can call up and we'll sign you up for a tour. And if we go there, will we see these 600 cows hanging out? You will out? see the cows on pastures, on 500 acres of pastures. You'll see where we bottle the milk, make cheese, butter, cream, mm -hmm. and you'll also see the milking facilities. And uh, you'll be able to taste some some raw milk. And if you bring your cookies, you can dip them in there and really have a good time. <laughs> <Be nice. laughs> Organicpastures.com. Anything else you want the viewers to know? There are two kinds of raw milk in America. One for the pasteurizer, one for the people. We're the one making it for the people. For the people. We'll be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this.